Hi guys, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about a new line that I'm interested in trying out. So this is the Coach Kemi Blue line, I guess you would call it. So if you're not familiar with Coach Kemi, they are a German company. Um, their motto is excellence for experts and they have a very vast line of products. Uh, you know, so if you look at like their standard line, which are white bottles, they're branded kind of like this. Uh, this is Nano Magic. Um, I use a soap called GSF, which is their gentle snow foam. Um, they have this kind of periodic table of elements layout where they have high pH and low pH options and a lot of different types of cleaners and they separate products out into, you know, interior, exterior, ceramic based, blah, blah, blah. And they've got this um, periodic table of a bunch of different products. Everything that I've used from them, I've liked with the exception, I guess, of QS. I didn't really like QS, but everything that I've used for them for the most part, I've really liked. Um, but I found their line to be confusing because they have so many products. You go and look at Kosh Kemi, it's like there's, you know, 70 different bottles of products and why do I need four different soaps? And, and as a, you know, as you get into the more professional side of detailing, there might be reasons why you would want to carry two or three different soaps. So, you know, maybe you want SFN as a soap that you can use as kind of a touchless soap or a pre soap. Uh, and then you use gentle snow foam as your regular, like I'm going to wash a car with a mitt soap. Um, NMS, this nano magic shampoo has some protection left behind where GSF does not. GFX is GSF with a different scent. And I think that Coach Kemi understood this when they came to the US because they, they maybe didn't get the adoption that they wanted except for a couple products that are being promoted by certain YouTubers like, you know, Mad at Obsessed Garage really likes GSF, so all of a sudden GSF takes off. Uh, they also like Green Star, which is their all-purpose cleaner, so that takes off. But some of their other products maybe don't and their products are really good. Everything that I've used, like I said, I've, I've liked. Um, like their MWC, Magic Wheel Cleaner, works really well. So. Coach Kemi came out with a, what they call their blue line of products. And these are products that are designed for uh, consumer to use. So uh, pr probably more of like a prosumer or a casual weekend detailer, car guy, like that type of environment. Um, so I picked up one of everything. They have 10 different products in the line. So this is everything that's there. And I thought that I would try them out. Now, first off, I do like the branding. So when we go through the products, you'll see uh, there is wheel cleaner. So reactive wheel cleaner, insect and dirt remover, all around quick detailer, cockpit care, multi-interior cleaner, glass cleaner. There's a polish, shine speed polish. There's plastic care, there's leather care, and then there's a shampoo. So only one shampoo. Nano Magic, which is actually, I think the same as this. Um, they're both called Nano Magic Shampoo. They have the same consistency. I'm assuming it's the same exact product. I've, I'm assuming it's the same exact product, but just in a different bottle. When you look at their branding though, their branding is actually kind of cool. So check, check out like this bottle here. So you see they've got this, uh, the, the dash of the car with two seats and the dash is all blue, but the seats are white. The steering wheel is white, but the cockpit is blue. Um, the radio is white. So what they're trying to say is this product works on all of the blue areas. And it's the same thing when you look at like this wheel cleaner, for example, the wheels are blue and everything else on the car is white. Um, you know, here's another one. This is the leather cleaner, the leather cleaner. They've got the seats lit up in blue and the rest of the interior is white. Um, this multi-interior cleaner works on apparently everything because everything is, is lit up except for the white uh, radio, the stereo itself. So electronics, it's not good for. So it kind of gives you like a really good, quick visual of like, oh, what am I cleaning? Wheels, uh, boom, here we go. You don't really need to read and understand the label as much as you just need to like look at the picture. It's pretty simple. I don't know why nobody has ever thought of that. Maybe they have, but um, you know, you look at, uh, you look at like Gion's products and some of them like tar and prep and those types of things make sense. But, um, you know, they have a lot of bottles that all look the same 
and it's like, okay, well, this blue one and this clear one, like which one is the interior cleaner for my seat and which one is the one for my dash, you know? So I think that the branding is kind of cool. Um, they did this thing where all of the bottles are opaque. So this is an actual like blue bottle, which I'm kind of for and against. So years ago, I worked in a restaurant and we had ketchup on all of the tables, uh, Heinz ketchup. And they used to come in a clear bottle. So it was a clear bottle, red ketchup on the inside. And you'd be able to like look around the restaurant and see that, okay, that one needs ketchup, that one needs ketchup, and that one needs ketchup, and go get new bottles and swap them out. But then one day they changed to red bottles. So now all of a sudden we can only get red bottles. The red bottles still have red ketchup in them, but you can't see anymore from the front counter which tables have low ketchup and which ones don't. So you have to like go around to the table and shake them and you know see what the weight of the bottle is to know whether to swap it out or not. The other side of that though is that the bottles always looked full. So the restaurant always looked presentable. So the tables, so the bottles always looked clean. And they also did that because people were refilling the clear bottles and the red bottles, they made it so you couldn't take the cap off, so you couldn't refill them. Although I'm sure some people did, because if you used like a strap wrench or something, you probably still could have ripped the cap off it if you needed to, but you probably would have broken the cap, who knows. Um, all this to say, the blue bottles make it so that it looks like this bottle is always full, which means that if these are hanging out on your shelf, like let's say you've got a stainless steel shelf like this one, they're going to look good on your shelf. Um, they're going to always look full, even when they're not. And they're going to, you know, just be easy to read and understand and see. So that's kind of cool if you're looking for a line of products where maybe you don't have to put them in a different bottle. Maybe you're not into these press all bottles or, you know, the IK sprayers and stuff like that, that some of us are, that's okay. The sprayers that they used, I'm familiar with and they work well. It atomizes well. You can see the atomization there in the air. And this is the uh, glass cleaner, for example. It puts out a reasonable amount of product, you know, and there is on off stream and spray. So there is some minor adjustability. So I think the sprays are fine. I think the bottles as they come packaged are nice. Um, I think that it can look complete on your shelf. Products that they're missing. Uh, I don't see a tire cleaner. A lot of times you can use a wheel cleaner as a tire cleaner, although this doesn't specifically have the tires in blue. So it doesn't seem like they're intending for you to use this on your tires. There is one dressing that is a plastic trim and tire dressing. Um, it has both the tires and the uh, side panels of the car, the plastic lower side panels of the car. Uh, blue on this bottle here. I suppose the quick detailer could be used as a waterless. It is technically a detailing spray. Detailing spray typically means that there's going to leave some protection behind. This might not, um, but they don't have a, uh, like a rinseless style wash. Other than that, the line is pretty complete. Maybe you don't need rinseless. Maybe you live in the Northeast or in a place where you maybe don't use or don't trust rinseless and that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, I think of these as a product line that I would be able to recommend to, you know, my dad, my uncle, to somebody who has nice cars, likes to maintain nice cars, um, but maybe doesn't want to have multiple lines of products, maybe doesn't want to, um, you know, chase the latest and greatest and the highest level of product that exists in every single category. Maybe that doesn't want to have to remember how much you need to dilute uh, APC to make it usable um, for engine cleaning or for, and, and, and just those types of, of people. Um, somebody who wants to be able to buy a bottle off the shelf and use it and have it work fairly well, have it be from a reputable manufacturer, you know, the, the kinds of people that use maybe uh, PNS products or uh, the DIY detail line of products, actually a really good uh, choice for that too. I'm still working through the videos on the armor line. So it's going to be a little while before I can get to these. Um, I've liked everything that Coach Kemi has done in the past. So I'm assuming that I'm going to like these as well. I'll give you my unbiased opinion. I did buy these um, myself from Coach Kemi USA and I spent, it's about 250 bucks worth of products here, give or take, to order the whole line. Uh, so not incredibly expensive, uh, but then, you know, they only have 10 products. So you can see it's about 20, 25 bucks a bottle on average. Some of these things I'm expecting I've used in the past. 
like the speed glass cleaner is probably really simple, similar to their existing glass cleaner. The Nano Magic shampoo, like I said, I've used before. Um, you know, so some of these are probably pretty similar to other products that they make. Um, I'm actually excited to try the Shine Speed Polish. This is supposed to be like a one-step polish. Um, I really like Kosh Kemi's Micro Cut, and I've been using that as a finishing polish when doing uh, ceramic coatings recently, and I'm expecting this is going to be a good product as well. All right, so for testing, I'm thinking that we're going to start off, we're gonna do an exterior clean. We'll use the wheel cleaner, the insect and dirt remover, the Nano Magic shampoo, and the plastic care slash tire um, coating. And then we'll do an interior with the cockpit care, the interior cleaner, the glass cleaner, and the protect leather care. Um, we'll eventually get to mess around with the all around quick detailer and the shine speed polish, likely those two together when I'm doing a correction on a car or maybe we'll just do a one-off test of them. But I'm excited to try the line. My initial impression is that the, um, the product line seems done well. The, you know, the blue bottles are a nice touch. Um, I like the labeling, I like the pictures, I like the way that they designed everything. It's, it seems very user friendly. Um, all of the chemicals are ready to use, meaning that they don't require dilution. Um, obviously the exception of that would be the shampoo, which all shampoo is going to require some sort of uh, dilution, but this uses uh, 50 milliliters for 10 liters of water, which 10 liters is about two and a half gallons. So if you had you know, a standard um, five gallon bucket of water, you would add 100 milliliters. This is a 750 milliliter bottle, so you're going to get about seven buckets out of it. <clears throat> anyway, excited to try it. If you can think of any other lines that you'd like to see me try as well, um, let me know, happy to dig into them. I've got a couple others that are on my list that I'm checking out, thinking about maybe Carbon Collective has a next one. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching and hopefully you're having a great day.